there are a total of six EQs included. Now EQ is used to shape the sound of tracks, buses and mixes, and there are several different types allowing plenty of flexibility. The first one we'll look at is the BQ2S, a simple three band EQ. It has two different types of filter. There's the shelf filter type of the low and high shelf filters and a peak or bell filter for the middle frequencies. A shelf filter is set at a frequency referred to as the corner frequency. It affects all frequencies above its corner frequency if it's a high shelf or below it if it's a low shelf. The low shelf filter included here is a switchable corner frequency of either 60, 90, 120 or 220 Hz while the high shelf is switchable between 6, 8, 10 or 12 kHz. Both filters have up to 15 decibels of cut or boost. In addition, they also have an adjustable slope adjusted with the controls beneath the gain controls. The midband is a peak or bell filter type, so called because of the shape of its response curve on the band of frequencies. The centre frequency of this mid control is adjustable from 300 to 5000 Hz, with up to 15 dB of cut or boost. In addition, the width of the affected frequency band is controlled by the Q control, which is just underneath the mid frequencies control. The higher this is set, the narrower the band affected. As a rule of thumb, wider bands work better when boosting, while narrower ones work better when cutting. There is also a limiter circuit that can be engaged to prevent peaks clipping the output as well as the usual bypass button for AB comparison. The next EQ we will look at is the BX2S. This is a very simple type of EQ based on a back sandal type EQ. It's similar to the simple bass and treble controls found on many domestic audio devices. Each filter is a shell filter. The low is set to 100 Hz, the high at 5 kHz, each with up to 15 dB of cut or boost. The master level and switchable limiter are in between these two filter controls. Another fairly straightforward EQ is the GEQ12, which is a 12 band graphic equaliser. Each band is a peak filter type with cut or boost of up to 12 dB. The 12 bands range from 30 Hz all the way up to 12 kHz. The filters also have adjustable bandwidth or Q and that's controlled using the control to the right of the bands. This is a global control and affects all bands. Just right of that is the output level control. Top right corner of the peak filter controls is the limit button to stop peaks clipping the output stage. Next up is a little bit more complex. It is the PEQ2B, which is a Pultec style EQ. This EQ is capable of cutting and boosting frequencies at the same time. It does this by operating on slightly different frequencies. This creates an interaction between the two that can be tuned to achieve very musical results. The low frequency control adjusts the centre frequency that the low controls operate on and these are designed to either cut or boost using the relevant control. The high frequencies have greater control and adjustment. The frequency to be boosted is adjusted with the high frequency control and ranges from 4 to 16 kHz. The bandwidth control adjusts the bandwidth in a similar way to a Q control, but unlike a Q control, the lower the setting, the narrower the bandwidth. The boost control is used to boost these settings. The attenuation frequency is set with a switch toward the top right, either 5, 10 or 20 kHz. This frequency is cut with the attenuation control. The higher the setting, the greater the cut. The trim control is similar to an output level control and there are two buttons to control the limiter or bypass the processor for AB comparison. The PEQ5B is similar to the Pultec style. The low and high frequencies can both be cut and boosted at the same time and these controls are found in the top half of the interface. 
The bottom half consists of a three-band parametric EQ, all with their own controls for frequency, bandwidth, and cut and boost. All five bands can be switched in and out using the relevant switches. The usual limiter and on-off switch and bypass buttons are found in the top right of the display. Finally for EQs comes the PEQ322. This sports a total of seven filters. They are high and low pass filters, high and low shelf bands, and three bell or peak filters. The high pass filter has switches on the left hand side for frequencies from off, 20, 30, 40, 60 or 80 Hz. The low pass frequency buttons on the far right are for off, 10, 12, 14, 16 and 18 kHz. Also in this top section are two meters, one each for left and right channels, switchable between input and output monitoring. A control for input and output levels as well as the usual limiter and bypass buttons are also found here. The bottom half contains the controls for the remaining filters. The gain controls on all five bands offer up to 15 dB cut or boost and all have slope controls as well as band on off switches. The only control that varies are the frequency ranges for each band. Low shelf ranges from 30 to 450 Hz. Lower mids from 200 to 2500 Hz. Mids 400 to 5500 Hz. Higher mids 600 to 7500 Hz. And finally the high shelf ranges from 1.5 to 16 kHz. Now let's move on to the effects processors.